And how's it going guys? Before we start, I wanna say that we have a small cinematic sound pack that we're giving away absolutely for free. You can download it just down in the description below. Click on the link. There's no strings attached. It's made by my talented friend, Nate. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about a few different ways that we can make Premiere run faster. And before we start, I gotta tell you about my channel sponsor, Envato Elements. It is basically a really cool subscription service that allows you to get unlimited downloads of over 100,000 VFX packs, stock footage, royalty-free music, sound effects, Premiere Pro overlays, After Effects overlays, and effects packs. Guys, literally anything you'd want in the realm of digital products if you're a video editor, Envato Elements has all the best premium products in that regard. So check it out. It's only about $33 a month, but you can get your first month for $9 via the link below. Every subscription helps the channel, so please check it out. Let's get back into the video. Lag is extremely annoying when you're video editing. It diminishes efficiency. It limits creativity. In the perfect world, you'd have a video editing session where your playhead could slice through your footage on your timeline like butter, and you wouldn't have any stickiness or lag whatsoever. That's almost never the case though. And in this video, I wanna cover ways to make Premiere run faster that's apart from the obvious. A lot of people will tell you, oh, obviously you gotta get a better computer that runs faster. How about you get the latest NVIDIA hard drive for like a thousand something bucks, the 2080 or something. I'm gonna tell you how to make Premiere run faster using the software that you have. Have. and maybe buying a few extra specific hardware items that won't kill your budget. The very first thing you can do is go into Creative Cloud and try updating Premiere. Sometimes all the glitches and the errors and the crashes that you're getting in Premiere is simply due to the fact that you haven't updated Premiere into the newest version. Number two, make sure to convert your footage to proxy files. Proxy files are identical files to your original footage, but just more lower res. This allows for faster playback because it takes less processing power for your computer to play through them. And regarding those proxy files, make sure that you use the ProRes codec. The ProRes codec is one of Premiere's absolute favorite codecs to use and allows for even faster playback. So guys, I'm actually here in a random ballroom in the Anaheim Marriott. Um, traveling with my best friend Chris Simon and we've had so many production specifically post-production nightmares so Chris tell us the fourth tip regarding reducing lag in Premiere Pro. <laughs> we've had a few uh, post-production nightmares. Uh, i say one of the quickest ways that you can reduce lag um, is going to your playback window and making sure that your playback resolution is the absolute lowest that it can go. I know the way that you can save a lot of time in your post-production workflow is by allocating enough memory to Premiere Pro. So the way that you do this is you go to edit, then you go to preferences, and then you select memory. All right guys, here's the next tip. This is something that I just figured out. I'm currently editing a music video with a bunch of red footage. I'd like you to imagine my timeline right now. I have 30 tracks of red footage stacked on top of each other. Now when you press play, obviously you're only gonna be able to see the top track because the top track is covering all the other tracks below it. So what's interesting is Premiere seems to register it as if it's having to process all 30 tracks as the playhead goes through the timeline instead of just the top track that it's actually seeing. So that slows down Premiere significantly. So what you do is you just make sure you highlight all the tracks below that top track, and then you uncheck enable, and this disables the clips. That way when you play through your timeline, Premiere is only distinguishing that top track as the track that it's having to process, and therefore your timeline will play through a lot faster. Another tip that can help you expedite your workflow is making sure that your GPU is doing some processing power, not just your CPU. Under video rendering and playback, there's a render dropdown. Uh, make sure you take that off of software only, and then select the OpenCL option or the CUDA option. This means that your uh, GPU is gonna be doing a lot of the processing power instead of your CPU, making your workflow that much smoother. Next tip is, say you have an external hard drive that you're storing on your say source files on. Make sure that you fill up your external hard drive only to 80%. It's important to have at least 10 to 20% of your hard drive free to ensure that your computer is running as fast as it can. Another tip is make sure you're editing off of your desktop. You know, most computers have an SSD drive that's a lot faster than a spinning drive. And if you're using an external drive, there's some sort of cable that connects the drive to the computer. So a USB 3.0 cable can really slow down your workflow. Even Thunderbolt cables can really slow down your workflow. So just make sure that you're editing off your desktop. Let's unpack this a little bit deeper and talk about SSD drives. That stands for solid state drives. Yes, we can just use the solid state drive that's always, or usually inside your computer, but there are also external SSD drives that you can actually 
actually buy. The reason why SSD drives are always faster than your standard spinning disk drive is because it has to do with the way that your information is being accessed. An SSD drive is gonna be a lot faster than a spinning disk drive because it contains absolutely no moving parts. The last thing we're gonna talk about is using a USB-C cable. This is something that you can use either for an SSD drive or for a standard spinning disk drive. A lot of the time, the cable can be the bottleneck that reduces the amount of speed that information is able to travel from your hard drive to your computer. So the USB-C cable is the absolute fastest cable you can use right now. All right, guys, thanks so much. If we missed any tips, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. It's pretty cool to be able to edit an entire project without having to worry about an incredibly annoying, laggy interface, Preach. right? <laughs> Um, but guys, please make sure to like this video. Please make sure to subscribe and click the notification bar so you can be notified when we release new videos. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, remember to keep, keep it, it chill. chill.